Hi everybody, in this uh, short video, I'll be showing you how to uh, check your Go High level setup. We'll do a quick test just to see everything's working properly. But before I do that, just want to summarize the, uh, the setup. So as per normal, you'll have your normal decision tree set up. You'll be grabbing your details about your lead, uh, all sorts of questions that they'll be answering, including any of the data that you need, any personal contact data that you will collect about them, which is your name, email, phone number, address, that sort of thing. At that point, you'll uh, transfer that across. So as soon as you've captured your phone uh, number, and you can see somewhere on this page a note about the phone. In fact, I'll uh, quickly refer to that. Okay, so just the setup about the phone number. Um, Go High Level needs the phone number to be sent um, in that kind of a format without any gaps and hyphens and, and brackets and that sort of thing. So we've got this script here, and what that does, that takes the number that you're using and transforms it, so it does all this clean. And this is uh, thanks to uh, to Rob Olson who actually gave us uh, this whole thing. We're just uh, putting it up in a in a well, kind of like we just wrote it up what he had explained, uh, and the sample that he had given. This is uh, his script. Um, so I'm just uh, and all I did was I just added one more here just to show the in console uh, the number printing as uh, the uh, lead goes through. So I'll share the the use of that shortly. So once the number is cleaned, it is uh, saved into a new field uh, using this uh, function here called the mobile underscore format, or mobile underscore formatted, I should say. And that's set up as a, as a text uh, field, actually. So you're saving a number into a text field. And uh, just to, and so what we're doing now is making sure that we just set, set that up. So I'm gonna show you where to put this here. If you go back into your decision tree, as soon as you've grabbed the phone number, on that same node or any node thereafter, you need to add this script in. So it needs to fire on exit, okay, which is right here. So make sure it fires on exit. And how you set that up is right here. Make sure you select script, exit. You'll get a copy of this decision tree, so you can just upload it into your account and use it as is. And that's the script right there that's doing its little work. So just one final point on that. Before you transfer the lead to um, Go High Level, make sure you fire that somewhere. So if you're grabbing the phone number on the very first node, and let's say this is a 20 node decision tree, then you can actually add that anywhere thereafter. But generally speaking, you get the phone number and you want to transfer the lead across straight away. And because of that, on that very node where you do grab the phone number, be sure to add the script on exit on that node itself. So therefore, the, that script runs on exit so that by the time the webhook fires, the new formatted number is available to the webhook. So that's the first thing. Now this is the, what the actual webhook will look like, which is right over here. Uh, and I'm gonna just open that up. In your case, you'll be just copying and pasting and replacing this bit here. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. And so once you've done that, uh, it'll actually work as is, they'll transfer all these uh, across. Just a few points of note. Th that is the system fields that the system creates. You add your tags over here, and these are the, your own custom fields that you'll add here. Uh, there's a note about that on this page as well, so be sure to grab that. This word bearer needs to be there, and you're gonna have a space there, and then you're gonna copy and paste your API key over there. And that, that's it, and just the content, and this is just to tell the um, API what the format of the content of the JSON format here is. All right, that's, now what I've also done, or additional step that I normally do, is I generally add in this, this is an optional step, you don't need to do this, I do it just for clarity purposes, in case something's wrong, it's hard to catch it. So for example, if you make an error over here, uh, then, Leadzook will probably give you an error, but you'll be like, well, what went wrong? And it's hard for you to view what's happened because uh, Go High Level most probably won't reveal that to you. And um, and in that, you end up losing sometimes, wasting time actually, that's what it is, to uh, fix the problem. So what I normally do is I go to a web this website, which is called um, website uh, webhook.site, not website.hook, it's webhook.site. 
And whenever you go there, it immediately will generate this randomly generated number here, which is right. That's your webhook. So all I've done is I've just copied this and pasted this into over here. This is a, a duplicate of this. So after you've created your go high level webhook, which is right here, make your adjustments, your, add your custom fields, all that stuff, uh, clone it. All right. So just press clone and add it above your go high level one and go ahead and replace this URL here, which is this one here, which is uh, D64. You can see that it's D64. All right, everything else remains the same. The only thing you're doing is replacing this, and um, and therefore what's gonna happen is you'll grab the lead, you'll transfer over to this site, and you'll also transfer to, to go higher level. And what we're looking for is to see, um, is to see what the webhook looks like. So that if there's any error, uh, you'll be able to catch it straight away. I normally just do it simultaneously at the same time. Uh, that way, if it's okay, I'll just remove this and republish it. And when you move on, everything's working properly. So let's have a look and see um, how to go about doing this now. So I'm going to publish this now. Proceed. Save. And I'm just going to do a direct link, which is right here. Okay. Uh, Nick test two, uh, just a fake email there and a fake phone number. All right, so submit and there you go. It's telling me, showing me both the numbers that are printed on this uh, final node. So let's have a look at webhook.site. So you can see it's come through and this is what it looks like. If there you go, there's my Nick test two. Uh, my phone number is correct. My email has come through. A few of the details I'm missing, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, and finally, you can see that it's pushed through. If you're going to have your own custom fields, you're actually adding them right over here. Right, so that's coming through. Now let's go and have a look at guy, Go High Level and see what's happened on that side. Hey everybody. So now you can see inside um, Go High Level, the leads come through. There's my phone number there. It's already formatted. Uh, there's my email and all the other details would pop up over here, including the tags that were sent through. So as you can see, the lead has come through quite uh, nicely into Go High Level. So all I want to do is um, get rid of this now uh, and republish it. So I won't do this now because I want to give you a copy of this. So what you will do is, is get rid of this, uh, add the connector, republish it, and uh, that's it. You're done. That's the Go High Level integration done. All right, so I hope that gives you a good idea as to what to do. Uh, the most important part is the number formatting script. It's just a copy and paste. Um, or in your case, what you can do is import the decision tree that you'll see on this page and um, save this. You can save this uh, as a template. Your other option is to actually create a transition node uh, and I'll leave a link to that. Um, and then you can just add that whenever you want to do a transfer to go high level. All right. So I look forward to seeing if there's any more feedback you have. If you have any questions, please get back to our support team. And uh, I hope your integrations go well. Thank you. Bye for now.